Here we are with more playthrough of At Any Cost. This is France versus Prussia in 1870. And so far, we've been trying to move the French up here. We've managed to push the Prussians back a little bit. But they are tightening up around Bionville. This is the place we need to capture to even consider a marginal French victory. Uh, over here, we need to capture this one too to get even a bigger victory, and the French have started to line up here to begin that assault. And that is kind of the summary of what's been going on. Just a little back and forth, and now I think it's going to swim for the rest of this turn. We're going to see what happens. So let's go ahead and get started with our next activation or event. <laughs> it's, it's Krupp's guns. All right. I think um, this is going to get used immediately. Because we are, the Prussians are desperate to repel all this junk. And so I think we're going to fire with it. Well, let me see if I got anyone else here. No, we got a clean shot here in effective range. And so that's what we're going to do. With, the Prussians are going to do with their uh, Schwartz. Schwartzkoppen. All right. They are on the six to seven column here. So this could be potentially deadly. Fire. Two seven. Mm, that might be something actually. It is a morale test. And the seven morale equals seven minus seven will be a zero. That is actually a morale hit on them. So the first brigade here is shaking a little bit. Alright. Good. Next up. Ah, progression, uh, Prussian aggressive tactics, something we can do with the French here. Yep. There we go. So, just for fun, the 38th Brigade sees the French there and goes aggressive and decides they're going to go after them right into this stream and try to mount an assault on them. But the French are going to, of course, respond with some nasty fire. Hopefully nasty fire for them, as they see it. Okay, let's you there, and rolling on the eight column. Oh my gosh, these morale rolls are just terrible. <laughs> That's a seven morale test plus three, which still does not help them at all. Boy, it doesn't help the morale roll doesn't go well. Uh. So now that Prussian is going to assault. Uh, we're on the plus one assault combat. Ugh. <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. Well, let's see what happens. A four. And the attacker takes a loss. Unless he takes that loss as a morale hit. As a morale hit, he can inflict a morale hit on him. But quite frankly, let's get him. The Prussian to decide. Let's just go back. Uh, that assault wasn't worth it. We'll go back to our hasty works and in the town where we are much better defended. And they think better of it. So that is the assault. And now we're back to activating. Pull out the... Oh, what is that? That is uh, battlefield conditions for the Prussians. So we got battlefield conditions and a panic test here. Uh, but, and we pull out the 5th Cavalry. And this cavalry is going to be out of command, so I'm going to go ahead and put one right there. The question is, what will we do with the rest of the guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and just move this cavalry one, two, three, into this hex here and prepare them for some charges over here. Can't do it now because I went into a stream hex, so nothing there. Should I just move the... I'm going to call that defensive, <laughs> and you'll see why here in a second. Um, and he moves like six... Wow, it's horse archer. Okay. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to just get him behind here. And we'll use the rally step to re-ammo him. 
and that'll be it for the 5th Cavalry here. Alright, next one. Coming up. Ah, grab one. <laughs> Alright, now the French get a battlefield condition marker. Now both the French and the British, or the Prussians have one. And now all I have is activations in the cup, so it's going to be a question of who activates now. And the answer is uh, Dubrail and his first cavalry of the French. Whoops, I never, um, yeah, I went for the out of command here. Cautious. Okay. I'm going to leave him as is. He can't really do anything from that with only two movement points. So I see a lot of questions. I've seen them well. I've seen one question where somebody said, you know, I'm playing this game and I'm having trouble to figure out what to do with the cavalry. <laughs> and somebody replied, well, you're in the same shape as the people who are actually here <laughs> leading these people. They, they also didn't know what to do with cavalry in 1870. Um, <laughs> and at first I thought, okay, we'll charge this guy down here, but that's charging him into canister fire, which I don't think I want to do. At least not all alone. Uh, so I'm going to move him up here. I'm going to move the rest of the crew here. And now all of them are ready for a charge. I couldn't do it from here without a... I couldn't really charge with anyone in here. So I'm just going to set him up. And, you know, it's kind of a, it seems like such a waste. But I can't figure out what else to do with the cavalry. Uh, I'm not going to charge in there. That's just suicide. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm going to do with those guys. Anyway. Alright, just a few more activations here for this turn. I think there's only two in there. Let's see. Yep, the 6th Cavalry. There's our headquarters. We're going to keep them in defensive so that we can uh, uh, do a little recovery. And first thing we think we're going to do is we're going to fire this horse cavalry at them right there. Alright. So I was going to pull out the battlefield conditions and give them a two column shift, but the French have one too, so we're just going to cancel those out. <laughs> and we're going to roll on the four column right here. Russian fire, artillery. Ooh, 6-2. Well, the 6 is good, but the 2 stinks, because uh, that's just the 3. No effect. And for my movement step, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a charge. We're going to charge with the 14th Cavalry on this guy. We have the space. Uh, first thing we have to do is roll an 8 or less. 8. We hit it right on the mummy. Oh, mother the mummy. And so, yes, he will. Zunk. Zunk. And immediately, the French will have defensive fire. Now, I forgot when uh, it's more than half the strength points are cavalry, it's a three column shift, so uh, that little unit there ends up on the 10 to 11 column. That <laughs> might have been a foolish uh, move on my part. Well, we'll find out. Uh, I rolled the wrong dice, that's why. Uh, five is a morale test plus three, but because he rolled a one, this morale dice is really killing everyone now. Uh, that's going to be nothing. So the charge goes off without a hitch. Uh, no one else is going to move. That's, there's only these three guys here. And so we are at the assault combat phase. And this was a cavalry charge, heavy cavalry. And when it's heavy cavalry, that increases the SP value by 100% on a cavalry charge. Because of the double weight and the fact that they're Prussian, whoa, wait, whoop, 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 and not Prussian infantry. Uh, Prussian infantry assaulting is different. Okay, not cavalry. They don't get the benefit of that. So they're actually only on the plus seven, which is still huge. And charge! Nine! Ooh! The defender loses and takes four losses, one of which must be a casualty hit. Flop. And... The other three must be retreat. And so, whoops. One, two, three. Oops, you didn't see that. He's back there now. <laughs> now, here's the thing. And we might as well burn this up now. Panic test. 
which we can place uh, where the incident occurred or we can place it adjacent to where the incident occurred. So we might be able to panic some more guys. That means there is a morale test at plus two for each of those units under there. So the first one, let's pull back first. Dice, uh, we'll angle it like that. Nine, oh brother, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, minus seven is four, which is gonna completely disrupt them. And the core unit underneath rolls again. And that is an eight. Okay, that's just good for, well, no, because his TCR is only six and he had two, that's 10, that's four as well. That he's gonna be disrupted too. So there. And there. Now here's the thing. I think the cavalry has to break through. Let's see. After a cavalry charge, the charging unit is shaken, takes a morale hit, and has to advance into the square that the other unit uh, retreated from. So. A rather devastating charge when you get down when all is said and done. Uh, and now we are at the rally step. And he only has a command of two, rating of two. So that can reduce this. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're only shaking. So we'll take that one off there. And we'll take the one off the um, cavalry here. So all our guys are mostly recovered there. Are fully recovered when you get down to it. All right. That is the end of their activation. And the last thing to activate is... Augustus, and the thing about Augustus, if you remember from last time, is they don't have an HQ, so this hex is out of uh, command. Since there's no one else, we go straight to resolving it, and it is withdraw. Hmm. Uh, this forces us to remove uh, move two hexes away from the nearest enemy. And we'll just go one, two, that is the extent of their activation. That is the second hour of this battle, the five o'clock turn. And we'll pan back here and take a look at the battlefield. All right, well, other than that really devastating uh, our, uh, cavalry charge, not a whole lot going on. Uh, we are pushing a little ahead the French here, but I think we're gonna go ahead and stop there. Leave your comments if you see any errors or if you see a good strategy I should try to employ or if you have any questions in general. Um, join us next time when we start the 6 p.m. turn. And thanks for watching.